And we start with the heartbreaking news from the fire department. Firefighter William Moon suffered devastating injuries while getting ready for a training drill earlier this week. And today, Mayor Adams said the firefighter will not survive. His organs will be donated to save the lives of others. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff takes a closer look at the Long Island firefighters' longtime dedication. A tragic accident training with the FDNY. Mayor Adams announced firefighter William Moon, injured Monday, would not make it. His family has uh, made the difficult decision to donate uh, his organs to save the lives of others. Uh, Firefighter Moon is a hero twice over. The 47 year old fell Monday 20 feet preparing for a drill and suffered a devastating head injury. 21 years with the FDNY saving countless lives in Queens, he recently decided to do even more, moving to Rescue 2 in Brooklyn. Which is an elite uh, unit that not only responds to fires, also responds to any type of emergency you can imagine happening in this. Uh, city of New York. A dedicated firefighter passionate about organ donation. He will now save even more lives. Commissioner Kavanaugh read a statement from Billy's wife. His love and passion for the job extended far from the firehouse walls. He instilled that same passion in our children and always talked about how important it was to help others. Here at the Volunteer Isla Fire Department, it's the second tragic loss in less than a year. In February, they mourned the FDNY's Jesse Gerhardt, also an Isla volunteer firefighter. They described Moon as the heart and soul of the department, an exceptional firefighter, a mentor to many, a member of the drill team, marching band, hockey team, volunteer hearing at just 19 years old, rising to the rank of Islip Fire Chief, the center of attention at every social gathering, an example of leadership. All were praying he would pull through, including his heartbroken neighbors. Husband, everything. Great neighbor. Great guy. This is a sin. This is unbelievable. I saw him the other day on the ladder, putting up the last of the lights. He's such a, such a family guy. Here's a guy who gave his life saving other people and now this has to happen to him. Moon is also survived by two small children. In her statement, his wife said that the family is eternally grateful for the Christmas miracles that Billy will now be able to give others through organ donation, his last act of heroism. In Islip, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. Firefighter Moon is also survived by his parents. His father was a fire chief in Islip Terrace. The wake and funeral services for firefighter Moon will be announced at a later date.